Hello and welcome. My name is Tony Helms. I'm better known as Tony Cartoonish on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. Uh, I wanted to create a short, real-time tutorial on how to do a quick color change of your digital character. Uh, now this tutorial is in Fresco, but you should be able to repeat these steps in most any drawing app like Procreate, Clip Studio, or Photoshop. The terminology might be a little different, some of the controls are a little different, but the basic concept of this tutorial should work most any in any digital drawing app. Uh, so let's say you've drawn a character, uh, and for whatever reason, uh, you, you decided you want to try different color spectrums uh, or different color styles for your character, but you don't want to repaint the whole character all over again. Say, for example, I'm using this uh, dialect character, which can come into a variety of colors, uh, greens and blues, and I believe the most, most of the most modern uh, dialects are gold in color. So I'm going to try out uh, changing this to an actual gold dialect. Uh, now, I do have this dialect broken down into a, uh, a subgroup of layers. I'll open that up here, and you can see how the dialect's broken down. Up here I have my line layers, and then down here at the very bottom I actually have a base color layer. Now, it would be very easy for me just to change this layer uh, to whatever it is. I could just repaint it, and I'll, then bingo, I'll have a gold dialect. I do recommend that, that type of design as a habit. But let's say, for example, you've possibly merged all your layers or you've painted different textures. And actually, in this example, my base color, though it looks gray, is actually a blend of colors. I've got reds and blues and greens in there uh, softly blended together. And it, it would be a little painful to, to maintain some of those blends and still get the gold spectrum. So I'm going to show you a, uh, a quick trick on how to, to do this. I'm going to go back to all my main layers make sure I'm on the uh, my layer group. I'm going to first, uh, I want to create a solid silhouette of this entire character. I'm going to first uh, duplicate the group. I'm going to merge all the layers in this duplicated group. Now, this is a step that's uh, key to Fresco only since I want to eventually turn on, or I should say, lock transparency. Uh, I can't do that as in when they're all vector layers, so I'm going to first convert it to all pixel layers. And now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do lock transparency. This feature should be in all uh, modern drawing apps. And basically what it does is the only thing that I can now color is the areas that are uh, not transparent or, uh, or somewhere uh, has some level of opacity on it. Let's first pick our color. I already have a, a gold color saved. It's kind of a mustard color between uh, yellow and orange. Now if I try to start painting, uh, let me go pick my paintbrush. I'm using uh, just a fat paintbrush right now. If I paint anywhere outside, it's not going to do anything. But as soon as I cross over, it begins to paint uh, inside this character. So I want to, again, just turn it all a gold, solid gold character for the most part right now to get started. Now, this layer is on top of my previous uh, layer of the dialect. If I turn it off, you can still see he's there uh, off and on. Uh, one thing you could try is uh, a lot of people do it first. They just change the opacity level of the new solid color. Uh, that starts to give you an idea of what this is doing, but that's not really what we want to do. We want to, uh, you know, have a, a more pleasant uh, color change. So what you can do is change the layer mode. Uh, now, it's called blend mode in Fresco. Layer mode in some other apps, it, the terminology varies, but for the most part, you should have an ability on every single layer to adjust its mode and we're gonna go down and change it to a color mode. And here you can see we have a much nicer blend of the gold, letting some of the other colors bleed through, and there we have our gold dialect. Now, since I still have this dialect in multiple layers, I'm gonna take this a step further, and I only want to blend this gold against my base color. So I'm gonna first uh, cut this layer out. So we're back to our gray dialect. I'm gonna open up my gray dialect's layers, go down and select the base color layer, and then I want to paste this uh, this gold layer over top, just my, my base layer. And now we have uh, a gold dialect, uh, nicely blended, and the other colors that are uh, of the dialect, like his, uh, his lights and his eye and his, uh, the suction cup uh, colors blend through without any gold uh, transition on top of it. And that's basically it, folks. That's how you uh, change the color of your uh, character very easily, quick and easy, without having to repaint the whole thing over again. I hope this inspires, and uh, I look forward to your feedback on what you think of this tutorial. I uh, appreciate it once time, and I hope you have a great day.